point the show for gamers by gamers. I'm Rad. I'm Bajo. I'm Goose. And I am Darren. What an exciting week we've had. We got to play the Nintendo Switch, and it's all in today's episode. Oh, oh, oh. Get the sandwich, Goose! Go, 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 they slide right out of my past as well. <laughs> well, Darren, don't worry. We also turn our world upside down in a review of Gravity Rush 2. <laughs> Plus, Bajo and I will platform our way through Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World. Darren, we haven't had a Darren's challenge from you in like forever. What's happening? What's going on? Oh, Bajo, that's because I'm working on a whole new test of gamer noobishness. It's just not quite ready yet. There can't be that many noobs left in the world, can there? Ah, sweet, simple red. So much to learn. Years of research have discovered that there's actually a noob born every minute. <laughs> a frightening statistic. Well, let's get on with the show and let's see what happened when we got our hands on the Nintendo Switch. Roll the tape, Lee! <laughs> Sydney and Goose, what have you got in your hands? Pretty excited, guys. This is Nintendo's latest console. It's the Nintendo Switch. And it's a pretty nifty looking unit just from uh, having a quick look. It's colourful. Mm. It's got the two little controllers on the side. It's a nice little screen. And oh, yes. they come right off. Isn't that just crazy? So you've got two little Joy-Cons and you can play with someone else using the same console, which is pretty cool. So my first impression of this was like, it's, it's more than a tablet, you know? Do I want a game on this? But actually, this is a dedicated gaming device. Like, it's just for gaming, right? And you can play it like this, and I can see myself doing that. And the best thing is, you take that home, you click it into the console, and it becomes your home console. So it's something we've never seen before. I'm quite yeah. excited. Me yeah. too, it's new. But the test is always going to be the games. So let's go play some. Let's go play some games. Let's go play some games. Let's go play some games. I like the thumbstick. Oh, this one is oh, cool. Okay. I'm always a bike man myself. Do you want me to slow down for you? No. And I'm just going to put the brakes on. Just put the brakes no. on. No. So Play proper. <laughs> when I beat you, I want oh. it to be fair and square. Give it on a skin. Hang on. Can we steer? Ah. Oh, it's you could steer it by turning it. That's so. That's making it counterintuitive. <laughs> oh. I think you're ahead of me. How are you ahead of me? Slow and steady wins the race. That's not how this works. You're about to beat me. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. Oh, I win! Oh. Look, I might have let you win that one just because it was your first time. No, so, I don't uh, think you did. I think that no. was fair and square. Yeah, you did. I'll take you again. Yes, okay. All right, guys, it's time for an eating contest. I don't know about you, but I eat a lot of cheese sandwiches and I'm feeling pretty confident. Oh, settle down there, Bajo. These aren't just cheese sandwiches. You've got layers of meat and onion in there. I, I think I've got this. All right, guys, let's settle up. The only way we know how, eating virtual sandwiches. Let's eat. Three, two, one, go! Eat the sandwich, Goose! <laughs> oh my. You're amazing at this. You I've had a lot of sandwich practice. Oh, you're smashing it! Chew, 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 chew! Now go, 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 go! Faster, faster, faster! Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Whoa. yeah. One second yeah, left! Get it, get it, go, 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 go! Oh, oh man! Oh. Three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, 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 nine, nine ten, ten, eleven! Oh. Oh. Well, guys, I can honestly say I've never played a game like that before. Rad, what did you think? I wasn't very good at it, unfortunately. I think I'd need a little bit more practice to get holding that virtual sandwich really still. I was amazing at it. You were so good! I think the best thing was looking silly while you do it. That's right. the best thing about these games. You just look absolutely ridiculous, but it's a lot of fun, and now I'm full of virtual sandwiches. Mm, you did look very, very silly. Yeah. You know what? I could drink. Yeah, me too. Maybe, maybe a glass of milk? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wash down the sandwich. Yeah. Hey, Brad, I don't know if you actually know, but I grew up on a farm, so I've actually milked real cows. Oh, that's very interesting. Well, I don't know if you know, but I actually went to a farming school, so I've milked quite a few cows myself. Oh, OK, well, it's a clash of titans. Yes, it's a milk off! Oh, yeah, this is, this 
I'm going to be the best milker. I'm going to be. I'm going to be the best. Well, again, congratulations. Well, milk. You're the milk master. This will be the end of you, Goose. No, 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 bring it on. Listen up, listen up. You think you can win, but you cannot. For I am the clap master. Feel this flow through me. Oops. The only way for you to learn is to. Oh! Well We've had a big day playing a whole bunch of different stuff. Goose, what are your first impressions? My first impression is the Nintendo Switch is very Nintendo. All the games are just so much fun, and they're made to be a bit silly. We played the 1-2 Switch party game collection, and everything that was made to utilise all the things the Switch can do, but make you look very silly while you did it. So I had a lot of fun doing that. You and the sword are one. <laughs> yeah. The Joy-Con was really exciting, the way that they used the ROM ball and the infrared. It had a lot of variety. It was good. You can really see they're thinking of unique ways to use all the different bits of this device, you know, which makes sense for a modular kind of device like this. Well, that's our first impressions of the Nintendo Switch. We're excited to get our hands on our own console soon and really put it through its paces. Yeah, really yeah. switch it up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> The topsy-turvy, gravity-bending world of Gravity Rush made for such a unique game. Did you ever play it, Goose? I did indeed, Barjo, and I absolutely loved the main character, Cat. She had guts and she was never afraid to take on a challenge. Well, let's see if you fall for her all over again in the sequel, Gravity Rush 2. The game begins as Cat and a team of miners descend into a dangerous mission. Pretty soon, things start to go wrong. The story does take a while to get going, but it's all about the poor being taken advantage of by the rich, and you're the hero who has to come in and save the day. And to do this, you'll need to control the essence of gravity itself. Dusty. Pat's trusty feline sidekick Dusty returns. Dusty! Along with her gravity shifting powers. Oh, and what great powers they are. Cat can control the direction of gravity herself, allowing you to fly around the world, hurl objects at enemies, and perform a variety of special kicks and attacks. Spinning claw attack! Oh. Ah. You're right, Goose, when you say that it's slow going at first. In fact, for the first few hours, it really felt like the first game. But after that, it really starts to open up. You're sent to Forbidden Forest to do tricky challenges. Free roaming mining zones to get precious gems for upgrades. And eventually, a huge, beautiful, multi-level city in the sky. Oh, and it's such a beautiful city, Barjo. The detail, the colours. And again, those gems are scattered all over the place. And they're just begging for you to zip about and collect them all. Oh, I must have all those gems, Barjo. All of them! Oh, so many gems! Look at them all! Bling, bling, bling! Collect them all! More over here! So many gems! Oh, bling, 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 bling! Well, my favourite part of the new city is how much destruction you can cause! Ah, yes! Feel the power of my gravitational destruction! <laughs> Run, humans! <laughs> Darren, you're a monster! Those people just wanted a nice day out at the market! <laughs> it is super fun smashing up the place, though. 
And when you activate your gravity powers near other humans, just like the last game, they tend to come with you. Sorry. No. I never tired of this gravity mechanic because it makes for such a unique type of game. Most of what you do in this game is just simply barreling through the sky, hurtling off to your next objective. And I don't mind that. I actually find the floating gameplay quite relaxing. Yeah, me too. I find it soothing. Yeah. Oh, I find it a little bit... Oh, oh, it's a little disorientating. No, no oh. Darren. Don't you robo spew. Oh. It's all right, Goose. I know Darren always gets sick when he plays Gravity Russian. This time... I've come prepared. Oh, oh, oh. oh much better. Oh. I like the gameplay too. And there's depth to the combat with special moves and finishes. But as fun as the combat is, I did find it a bit repetitive. I actually really enjoyed those fights, Bajo. It was exciting attacking mobs of enemies at different angles, trying to find weak spots... <laughs> ..or avoiding gravity bombs and rail lasers. However, the questing, now that I found a little lacklustre. Affirmative. Many of the quests are just about looking for something, such as hidden people. <laughs> or even ducks. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean, Darren. It took me so long to find all those ducks, especially that last one, stupid duck. And those quests where you have to follow someone from behind and tail them and hope they don't spot you, they need to be banned. They're so tedious. Oh, walk faster! Walk faster! Oh, just get to your stupid hideout! Oh, no, he saw me! I start again, I guess. They're so 2013. Yeah, you can see that the quests are trying to utilise the game's mechanics. Things like exploration and gravity manipulation. It's just that they're not very interesting. That said, the game is still a lot of fun and it's a big improvement on the last one. Yeah, absolutely. It looks and plays great. And I love that you can take photos. Mm. I'm going to give Gravity Rush 2 three and a half out of five rubber chickens. Guys, I just love this world and Cat is such a wonderful main character, so I'm giving it four rubber chickens. Now, Darren, do you think it's safe to take the box off? Uh, I think so. <laughs> oh, oh, no, it's not! Oh, 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 Right, right, are you ready to rock some questions this week? I was born ready, Bajo. And first up, we have this one from Brahitis, mm. master of all cheese, who is in the Gold Coast, Queensland. Oh, Brahitis. Brahitis. Oh, bless you. Hello, GGSP. I just got Journey on my PS4. I had watched other people play Journey before, and in the part where you create the ribbon bridge, you meet a second character. But when I played, I did not meet the second character. Why? I must know the reason. Am I not worthy? Please answer. It will be much appreciated. Kindest regards from Bahichis. <laughs> Ah, well, Brihi Cheese, master of all cheese. I'm sure you are very worthy, but I can think of a few reasons why you maybe didn't run into another character. In Journey, running into other characters is actually a clever sort of online multiplayer. That's right, those other characters you run into are real people playing the game at the same time as you. So they aren't scripted or guaranteed to show up at any point. So you may have just been unlucky and no other players were online in that specific area at the time. Mm, or maybe if you were offline or your internet was having issues, then that would stop you running into other players as well. Mm, we'd say just keep playing and make sure your internet is working and you should run into another character at some point. But let's move on to this one from The Questionnaire in Melbourne, Victoria. What is the question? To Z or not to Z? That is the question. Oh. Uh, mm. mm. Hello, good game. I've been trying so hard how to work out how to use the game recorder for the Xbox One. And whenever I press the record game clip, it stops and records for only 20 seconds or something like that. It's just too confusing. And also, can the game clips go up to half an hour? Or also, can you put your voice onto your game clips? It's to use. Please, could you help me? P.S. Darren is a new. P.P.S. You guys are awesome. 
Well, the questionnaire, we can definitely help you with the answer for that. Mm. So, by default, when you use the record game clip feature on your Xbox One, it will simply record the last 30 seconds of gameplay. But you can change that if you go into your settings, find the game DVR and streaming options here, and change the setting to record longer clips up to five minutes long. Or, if you don't want to record what you just did, and you want to record what you're about to do, then bring up the guide, go down to Apps, and launch the game DVR app. Then you can start recording clips. Again, they can only be five minutes long. There are ways to record longer clips, though, such as broadcasting your game on Twitch. If you do that, then you can broadcast for hours and the entire clip can get archived online. Although, sadly, Twitch does specify it's not available for people under the age of 13, so it's not particularly appropriate for most of you spawnlings. Of course, if you're super keen on capturing your gameplay, then there's lots of special pieces of hardware that let you record gameplay either directly to them or to a nearby computer. We use lots of that kind of hardware on the show to capture all of our footage. Yes, we do, Bajo. All right, well, good luck and have fun capturing the questionnaire. But I think we have time for one more quick question, and we'll go with this one from Zeke in Unicorn Butt World in New South Wales. Is that a real place? <laughs> I don't know. Is it I'm just so... a world of unicorn butts, or is it a world that is a unicorn butt? Unicorn mm. butt world. We're thinking about. Hi, SP. Will there be another Skylanders, or is Skylanders gone forever? P.S. I love your voice, Darren. Thanks! Well, Zeke, there's been a new Skylanders game every year since the series started, so I would be quite surprised if there wasn't a new one coming out this year. In fact, Rad, I would probably eat my hat. Oh, well, let's give Darren a call and see if he has any insider news about it. Shall we have got it? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hello, Darren speaking. Hi, Darren. Hi, Darren. It's Rad. Oh. Hi. Oh. Um, we were just wondering if you knew anything about any new Skylanders games coming out. Ah, well, there is a version of Skylanders Imaginators coming out for the Nintendo Switch. But other than that, the game's publisher Activision has said there will not be a brand new Skylanders game coming out this year. Well, count me surprised. Well, apparently sales of Imaginators were somewhat disastrous, so they felt the series could use a break. For now, at least, though, they have said the series has not been cancelled completely and they will continue at some point in the future. But, uh, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what the people behind Disney Infinity said before they uh, decided to cancel that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe uh, we're starting to see the end of the toys-to-life game genre, just like we saw with the music games. Those big plastic peripherals came up and then disappeared within just a few years. Uh, time will tell, Barger. <laughs> uh, well, thanks so much, Darren. Oh, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, 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 bye Darren. Bye. I'm hanging, I'm hanging up. I'm hanging up. Well, speaking of time, it looks like we're out of time for today. But if you'd like to ask us something, then you can go here and send in your questions. I think you need to eat your hat now. Uh, you said that you would eat your hat. I so don't you have, have a to... hat, so I'm forfeit. Well, eat forfeit. this hat. Okay. Eat that hat. All right. No, it's not edible. It's don't, not, you don't can't do it. Don't eat the toys. I'm gonna... Woolly World is a 3DS port of Yoshi's Woolly World, which was originally released on the Wii U. And now it's back with added Poochie. That's right, and we loved the Wii U version when it came out. So, Darren, may I ask, what does Poochie bring to the 3DS version? I'm glad you asked, Barjo. Poochie pups in mellow mode. In this mode, players are given the pups to use like everlasting yarn balls. After you throw them, the pups return, allowing you to use them again and again. The helpful hounds also alert you to the presence of hidden goodies. Clever canines. With discerning dogs. Oh. Mellow Mode also gives Yoshi wings. This allows you to just hover in the air indefinitely, making the platforming much easier. Though whilst I usually love a relaxing easy mode, Mellow Mode wasn't really for me. I missed collecting the yarn, and you can't fly upwards, so the wings didn't really help me where it mattered. But I would recommend it for finding the collectibles you're stuck on. Oh, absolutely. And there are so many collectibles out there. Ugh. There's all sorts of hidden areas and tricky platforms and beads just out of reach. And I really liked this because it made me want to work harder to get everything. Yeah, I actually had to give up trying to get every single bead because there's just too much. Each level has a number of flowers and yarn skeins to collect too. 
I'm sorry, yarn what? Skeins, Archer. Yeah, it's what the oval-shaped balls of yarn are called. Why not just call them yarn balls? Because balls are different. These ones are called skeins. I don't know, it sounds fake to me, but whatever. If you collect all the yarn skeins in a level, you get a new look for Yoshi. Hot cocoa Yoshi looks good enough to eat. And flower Yoshi is adorable. There's also an option to create your own Yoshi skin by painting a square that translates onto the woolen Yoshi. I made this very dashing spawn point Yoshi. How artistic, Rad. Though I must say, I think my creation is far superior. <laughs> it's me! <laughs> well, Darren, not bad for a little knit Yoshi. Oh, thank you, I know. Just one of my many talents. Uh, this new 3DS version also has a bonus mode called Poochie Dash. This fast side-scrolling runner lets Poochie collect as many beads as possible. These beads can be used to help you in the main levels, and this is a great way to gather them. Oh, so many beads! Beads! Speaking of beads, hey, Bajo, do you like jazz? Oh, I've been known to enjoy a jazz number or two, Rad. Well, lucky for you, this game has some great music. My favourite was definitely this jazzy number, and all the sound effects are super cute, too. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Woolly Yoshi is the most adorable of all the Yoshis. This game also has extensive amiibo support, but we've got an older 3DS and no adapter, so we couldn't test that out. Yeah, but it's no big loss. I don't like amiibos for 3DS games anyway. To me, it goes against everything that portable gaming stands for. Mm, fair call, Rad. Taking amiibos out and about with you would be highly inconvenient. Well, overall, I think if you played the Wii U version, there's not really enough new here to warrant another playthrough. The changes are minor, but it's still a great game. I'm giving it three and a half out of five rubber chickens. I actually hadn't played the Wii U version, so I really enjoyed myself. It's a great portable title, and Mellow Mode might make it more accessible for younger spawnlings. I'm giving it four and a half out of five rubber chickens. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, we're running out of time. The show is almost over. Oh. Oh, Darren, never you fear, because now you can load up the ABC Me app and watch stacks of Spawn Point whenever you like. That's right. There's a new video every weekday, so make sure you check it out. Yes, in fact, I'll be hosting another episode of Spawn Point Scoop on Monday, and it's going to have loads of gaming news and a couple of surprises. Oh, could I be a guest one day, Goose? Please? Well, Darren, as long as you promise not to leak any oil on the carpet, yeah, sure. <laughs> Gross. Well, next time on Spawn Point... We swipe to victory in Fire Emblem Heroes. <laughs> Plus, I head along to the FIFA Ultimate Team Championships. Go! Go! It's relentless. It's absolutely hey. relentless for the row. Is he onside? Oh, it's a goal! That's it. Time's up. <laughs> oh, that was a bit startling, Darren. Well, until next time, Bajo out. Rat out. Goose out. Darren out. Ooh. Darren, that was really loud. Uh, can we maybe turn it down just a bit? Yeah. Uh, negative, but we could try something else. What? No. How about this? Oh, no. I don't think so. Oh, hang on. That's quite pleasant. I kind of like good. this. It's a good little dance tune. Yeah, I'm digging it. It's kinda... We could have a space disco. Yeah. Less of an alarm and more of a groovy tune. Oh, oh I like your dance moves, Bajo. Thanks to the Bajo. <laughs> this one's all to the Bajo. Neptune. You're not, you're not doing it right. Oh. Yeah, no, you're... Oh, well, I'm not Bajo enough to. Yeah, that's no. true.